Hello everyone and very warm welcome to the channel. As was promised, here is the video of how to fine tune this Coin 2.5 amazing model from Alibaba by using free Google Colab. I will be using the celebrated Unslot tool which I have covered a lot on the channel. It is one of the finest and quickest tool. If you are just starting out in the fine tuning arena, I believe you should be starting from Unslot. So I will be starting um, this fine tuning of this Coin 2.5 model with Unslot. If you don't know what this Coin 2.5 model is and why I am so excited about it, I would highly suggest that you go to my channel, search with Coin 2.5 and you will see that I have done heaps of videos in the last few days on various variants of this Alibaba's model which was released just few days ago. And Alibaba has released multiple models last week from 500 million until 72 billion parameter of a model. As you can see, I have covered lot of variants here plus the general purpose one and also the coder and the math one and there are few others too but for the purpose of this video what i'm going to do i'm going to fine tune this coin 2.5 model by using unsloth on custom data set of course you can use your own custom data set it all depends upon your use case i will also be sharing the link to the collab um, which has been very graciously shared by daniel from unsloth so um, don't worry about the command which I'm going to use. You can simply use them as per your choice. I will be using a smallish model um, in order to get it fine-tuned, but you can use 72 billion if you have the VRAM or the resources for that. The commands and the steps are the same. Now, let me take you to my Google Colab and without any uh, wasting any time, we are going to get started on fine tuning it and by the way when i say fine tuning fine tuning simply means that we take a pre-trained llm which is already trained on a general purpose data and then we give it our own data and then train that model on our own data so that it is aware of our custom data for example you have your own private data your company's data of course the llms are not aware of it if you want llms to become aware of your own data fine tuning is one such technique and then within fine tuning we have various other things like parameter efficient fine tuning then we have um, low rank adaptation we have quantized low rank adaptation LoRa or QLoRa in short and then the list goes on and on and I have covered various fine tuning techniques LoRa, QLoRa, PEFT and so on and so forth on the channel so if you are interested in going into a bit more uh, conceptual detail just search with a keyword and you should be able to find very easy to understand easy to follow videos on the channel and i'm sure you will enjoy them so we are going to use parameter efficient fine tuning and we are going to use um, lora for it and i will be also explaining all the commands which we are going to use so this is my google colab on in front of you which you can see for that, all you need to do is to go to colab.research.google.com and if you don't have any account, just create a Gmail account or Google account and then sign in for a free account and courtesy to Google, they also offer a free GPU. So go to runtime, change runtime type, select T4 GPU and save. Now from here, simply install Unslot by running this command. It is going to install it on your Google Colab. So let's wait for it to finish and unsloth is installed the beauty of google colab is that it comes pre-installed with a lot of prerequisites like torch and other stuff so we don't have to worry about those next up let's get our model from unsloth and uh, daniel has already created quantized version of this coin 2.5 model he also has made changes some in the tokenizer and stuff so really hats off to him now let me run this it is going to download the model and all it is doing is it is trying to use the PEFT so it is a parameter efficient fine tuning that is a technique for fine tuning large language model and the configuration which we are going to use is going to apply LoRa to specific modules controlling the rank scaling and dropout and when we say rank uh, rank comes handy in low rank adaptation and rank simply is a concept from linear algebra and it is a rank of a matrix repre representing the maximum number of linearly independent rows or columns. 
and you can see that for this one i'm just going to go with this 0.5 billion uh, parameter model the very small model as you can see it has already been downloaded the size is very very small for this model just 457 meg so and of course you can replace it with any higher model if you like now that is done next up we need to add the lora adapters let me put the command here and i will explain what is happening there so this is what the lora adapter is and this is a path which i was just explaining the parameter efficient fine tuning technique and this is the r which is a rack which i just explained and then we have target modules so these are specifying the layers and modules to which we want to apply low rack adaptation so what happens is that when we use lora we don't fine tune the whole model which means that we don't change the weights and parameter of the whole model what we do is we freeze the original um, layers and everything in the model we just uh, add some adapter on top of it and then fine tune those adapters so these are the modules which we are fine tuning so for, for example this q k and v o proj are the query key value and output projection layers and then we have gate proj which is the gate projection layer and then we have up and down projection layer then we are specifying lora alpha which is a scaling factor for lora matrix lora dropout is a mean is zero which means there will be no dropout and we are setting bias to none it means we are disabling the bias and then we are using the grading checkpointing to unslot which uh, improves the memory efficiency and gradient is simply the difference between the actual value uh, or the expected value or the actual value which model is producing in the process of trading then we are just giving it a random value for seed value for reproducibility we are not using rs lora which is randomized subset lora and we are not giving any loft queue or low rank fine tuning quantization so let me run it here this shouldn't take too long it is just going to patch the 28 layers as or 24 layers in this case and that is done so our model is ready next up we need to get a data set you can of course get your own data set if you like i'm just going to go with this sample data set provided in the notebook where we are just defining the function for now which is just formatting and then getting this data set from maxim lebon find to 100k is a sim very simple very finely written data set so thanks to maxim for producing this too that is also done uh, now we would need to convert it into proper share gpt format which is supported by quant 2.5 and this is a simple code of doing it and the good thing about unsloth is it provides a standardized share gpt library you can see how quick that is it is just converting and mapping the data set it's very very fast so let's wait for it should it take too long that's done you can also view it if you like by just randomly giving this list value four five or whatever maybe i'll just three something like that it is going to show you what exactly this data set is all about okay and if you have your own data set make sure that you have it in this format you can use this standardized share gpt library for that so that is done next up we need to train the model so we have our model we have our data set in the proper format next we first we need to define the training configuration and you see this is where we are just using uh, sft trainer from hugging faces trl library and from there we are specifying our model tokenizer data set max sequence length and all the parameter which we already described and for the optimizer we are using this atomw it is very standard all of these values are very <coughs> standard values also for the purpose of this we are just specifying 60 steps if you want to go for longer duration you can just comment this max step and uncomment this epoch which makes a full pass on your data set let's wait for this to finish and that configuration is done next up we need to do an extra step here for coin 2 we just need to make sure that we train it on the assistant output and this is going to take a bit of a time 
So what we are doing here is we are just using uns loss train on completion method to only train on the assistance output and ignore the loss on the user's input. This is just because the format in which coin 2.5 works. So let's wait for this to finish and then we will proceed further. We just need to do a couple of these things in order to make sure that training goes smoothly when we run it. And that step is also done. Next up, you can also verify the masking which we have just done with these two commands that you can see that this looks quite good. It is in the proper format of Coin 2.5 and so we are now all set to start the training. Let's run it and it is going to start fine tuning or training our model onto our data set. So it has started the training and you can see that due to the size of the model and the very smallish size of, size of the data set, the ATA is very low even on this free GPU and the steps are running and the loss is coming down gradually. So let's wait for this training to finish. And the fine tuning is complete as you can see all the 60 steps are done and now you can check your new model with this command where we are just giving it the uh, chat template and we are asking it to continue the Fibonacci sequence. Let's run it and this is our new model. Shouldn't take too long to run. Model is now generating the output after converting the token uh, to uh, text into tokens with the tokenizer and you can see the response is quite good. Now if you want to save this model locally you can use these commands or if you want to upload it to Hugging Face, you would need to go to huggingface.co, grab your right token from there, which is a free token, and then you can specify that right token here. And then with the help of it, you can upload this new model to Hugging Face and share it with the world. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it and you can see that how easy it is to fine tune on your own or custom data with the help of Unsloth. And we have just tried it out this coin 2.5 model from alibaba that's it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching